When I started this series, I wanted to put together a short educational series of videos that removes people's excuses about why they can't have a website. Uh, they think they need designers. They think they need people to put it together. They need developers. They need all sorts of things. It's too costly. It takes too much time. I want to show people that it's very quick to get something pretty simple up that also looks really nice. And on top of that is ridiculously affordable. So I said I was going to do this with Bootstrap on AWS. And people said, well, what's Bootstrap and what's AWS? Well, Bootstrap is kind of a bit of markup on top of another markup language that makes websites beautiful quickly. It was made by Twitter, and they've gone ahead and they've made all these very nice templates that people can download, they can modify as they see fit to make something quickly that also looks really nice. And some good examples of this would be like a blog. If you wanted to have a very nice blog, they can do that pretty quickly. There's a theme for that. If you wanted to have uh, your business on there for like a restaurant or something simple, again, very easy to have templates there. And so how do we actually take these and put them out there for people to look at? Well, the easiest solution that I could find that was also ridiculously affordable was AWS, which is Amazon Web Services. And what is Amazon Web Services? Essentially, it is the cloud. When you hear people talk about the cloud, whatever they're doing on the cloud, they're probably doing on Amazon Web Services. And it's not something that nobody can afford. It's ridiculously affordable because it's kind of pay as you go. And they have things on there that we have no need for, like elastic load balancers and routing and DNS handling and simple email servers and notifications and all that stuff. The one thing we are particularly interested in is their S3, which is their simple storage solutions. And what this is, is you can think of it as going to Best Buy and buying a hard drive and it's your external hard drive that you can just put your folders in and you can store your data. Unlike that external hard drive, you need the internet to get to this one. But also unlike that external hard drive, if your house burns down, this data is still there. Or if their server goes down because it's redundant, the data is still there. And they also have some awesome functionality built on top of that, like logging files and tracking who does what and charging people to use the files out of the folders, things we don't need to worry about again. The one thing that is awesome is that we can put a website in one of these buckets and then say, serve this to the internet and it'll give you a URL. People can visit that URL and they can see your website. Super quick and super easy and ridiculously affordable. We're talking pennies per month. So what you're gonna need if you wanna follow along with this is an AWS account. And you can just go to aws.amazon.com. You can see all sorts of things. You're gonna to need to put in credit card information and make your account. And they have some best practices on security that we're not gonna go through, but just check that out. And then the only service we're gonna need is their S3 service. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is find a bootstrap template that you really like, that kind of fits the feel of your company. Something that you wanna do, like be it a gallery for photos or videos, or again, a blog or a website that just you wanna host the menu for your restaurant. Something simple. We're not gonna have a bunch of things changing in the background. We don't need to worry about sending requests to servers and processing data and all that jazz. This is just a very static website that does one thing and it's gonna do it very well for you. So if you're interested, uh, please go ahead and follow along. And also, if there's things that I haven't covered here that you'd like to see, please feel free to leave comments, and I will try to address the comments and answer questions as best I can. All right, thanks.